Hello friends of, and neighbors of the Dirty Public Library. Today I'm going to be reading a story for our night training um, event. Um, the name of the story is Waking Beauty by Leah Wilcox, illustrated by Lydia Monk, Monks. By the way, it is also the story that we have currently out for our story walk on our windows downstairs in the children's area if you want to come by and take a look at them take a look at the story that way okay waking beauty once upon a saturday in search of dragons he could slay prince charming heard a dreadful sound that shook the land for miles around Prince Charming. I like the sheep. It thundered from a castle wall. He raced to scale its prickly wall. I like his noble steed. A dragon lies within, he cried, and hand on sword, he crept inside. Then hung his head. Oh, rats, he said. It's just a snoring girl in bed. He peeked behind her canopy and spied some fairies. One, two, three. She snored this way 100 years. They whimpered through their fairy tears. Hmm, it's the fairies. That long, he frowned. She sure sleeps late. Wake her up, why do you wait? The fairy scowled, don't be so dense. She'll only wake up for a prince. We see you finally made the trip. Now give the girl a little lip. Okay, he said, if you insist. He drew his mouth up in a twist. Yes, but we all think, what do we think is gonna happen next? Hmm. And hollered, wake up, lazy bones. Here snores drowned out the fairies' groans. They shook their heads. No, not like this. You have to wake her with a... There he is, yelling at waking a sleeping beauty. Hey, I know. He tapped his head and started jumping on the bed. Beauty shut up, hoops and all, and that sail then sailed down like a parasol. Did this not did this did not wake the maiden's fair hair fair, but loosed the cobwebs in her hair. The fairies all began to hiss. She'll only wake to true loves. There she is. But no more cobwebs in her hair, so that's good. Wait! Prince Charming waved his hand. Don't worry, girls, I understand. And stooping o'er her snoring snout, he dumped a water pitcher out. Y'all think she's finally going to wake up? On she slept, she did not stir. Thick dust had turned to mud on her. The feisty fairies grabbed his ear, making certain he could hear. Take careful aim, you must not miss. You have to wake her with a... Look at her, she's all muddy now. Oh, I know what you're, you were planning. Prince Charming spied a castle cannon. He stuffed the sleeping beauty in. <laughs> she soon came shooting out again. Kaboom! She fell into the moat where all her hoops kept her afloat. Fortunately, she didn't sink. <laughs> Still on she snored as frightened trout and crocodiles jumped right on out. Look at this one. The fish and the crocodiles are jumping right out of the water. <laughs> Prince Charming fished the girl ashore. The fairies yelled, enough, no more. They fluttered round him feeling frantic. How can you be so unromantic? She won't have ever after bliss until you wake her with a... He is fishing her out. You think he'll finally hear? Or he'll interrupt again? Kiss! 
the prince's knee the prince's knees began to shake his noble heart began to quake 100 years of morning breath wow that could be the kiss of death he poked her muddy matted curls i've heard that there are germs on girls he wiped her mouth clean with his shirt i hope he squeaked this doesn't hurt i think he means it doesn't hurt him his puckered lips met beauty smack and in her sleep she kissed him back Ooh. prince charming smiled not bad he said the maiden sat up in her bed she stretched and yawned and rubbed her eyes then much to everyone's surprise there she is waking much to everyone's surprise she popped prince charming with her fist who said that you could have a kiss? Ha! The pummeled prince slid down, poor chap, and fell asleep on Beauty's lap. Beauty groaned and bent to shake him. Fairies, tell me how to wake him. Just let the poor boy sleep, they said, and tired too, they went to bed. There he is, fell asleep right on her lap. More like got knocked out. But fairy tales can't end like this. We know she woke him with a kiss. <laughs> well, that was fun for me. I hope it was fun for you too. Um, and by the way, next week, Miss Eileen will be sing singing um, the Sleeping Beauty story, probably not that one, um, for our summer on one of our summer online events. We hope you join. Uh, her on that as well. So this was the first part of the video. Next, I will be making crafts that go for the night training, which include a horse and a shield. I guess you'll have to go and find your own knife and then go slaying your dragons or giants. Bye. Hello, friends of, and neighbors of the Dairy Public Library. So here's the video with the two crafts the pool noodle horse and a shield. So you probably signed up to pick up these, um, the materials to make these crafts. If you did, then you should have picked up a pen, a cake pan like this with a baggie with your name on it. And I'll show you what's in that bag shortly. And the other thing you should have picked up was a pool noodle. <laughs> Like this one right here. Let's take that tag off of it. Okay, so next I'm going to show you how to make these two crafts the best way I know how. Um, not the craftiest person, so please forgive any flubs. And also, in addition, Mr. Hire was not very good at ordering this, so she missed ordering one for herself. So instead, I will be showing the craft on a craft paper. So it won't look quite the same as the ones that you have at home, but hopefully it will give you the general idea of what you will be doing with that craft. Um, so the materials that you need in case you would want to go out and get um, materials to make um, these crafts, are the pull noodle horse for the horse plus pieces of foam you could also use felt instead i chose foam because it was i thought it was easier um you could use felt um regardless you did not get glue with your kit so you'll need to go and go get some glue and or glitter glue or glue and glitter <laughs> and double-sided tape which you receive on these wax papers in your kit and googly eyes for your horse googly eyes most of these things you can find in dollar store including the stretch of twine for the bridle for your horse okay so most of this is very very simple um, my favorite was the horse, so we're going to do that right away. Um, I believe I gave everybody about 18 inches of 
twine. So literally just take one part of the horse at the very top, I would say maybe the top quarter part of the horse, doesn't matter. And you fold it over like this. That's it. And then you take your twine, which like I said, I pre-cut for everybody, except again, not me. So, I am going to cut some of this here for myself now. So of course, you'll need scissors. So from that piece, a uh, long piece that I gave you, I would say cut a smallish part. Let's say about that long would be enough. Or actually, what you can do is, after you bend your noodle, of course like that, you can wrap it around like this. That's what's gonna hold it together, that's it and tie it, make your double knot. One knot, one tie, see, holding it just right. And then a second, just like that, just tie just like that. And then you take your scissors and you cut like that. And your essence already are quarter of the way to being done with your horse. So with the rest of your twine, you're going to do the reins for the horse. So I believe this is called the bridle. Anybody feel free to correct me. I'm not a horse person. <laughs> and then I will be um, making the reins with the rest of the yarn. So you just very simply, on one side, you let me take it out, put it in like so, and then you make a tie. You tie it again about twice. You could just do it once so that it can move back and forth, but I don't think it matters and it will probably stay better if you do it twice. And we know the kids are gonna be running all over the place with these, so it's better safe than sorry. Better, better to have reins that stay, I mean, yes, reins that stay than ones that slop all over the place or get loose. Probably asking, you're probably asking yourself, well, but will I be able to bring this noodle into the water after I'm done with it? Oh, it's gonna be some glue and some tape involved on this. So I am not sure that I would be confident on doing that. So the, le the rest of the length of your twine, now I'm cutting here, but you guys will have a certain amount of twine. Or you can go and get some more twine. Again, I believe I've seen it at the dollar store. And the same operation on the other side. One knot. Okay, I think I didn't give myself enough. Yeah, I didn't give myself enough to actually do two knots. And so we're just gonna do that. See, rain, bridle. Okay, next part, it's really easy because all you have to do is choose where to put your eyes and then just go for it and put them but the eyes that you receive they have like this tape on the back and you have to get it off and that's the tricky part fortunately we're not on a hurry and i guess my nails are helping me here yes victory okay and then you just choose where are you gonna put the eye? I think that looks good, right there, yeah. And then you proceed to repeat the operation with the side. So what I would say is to take it and just snap it on the side, all around the edge until you find the part that's loose enough, and then voila, off it comes. And then 
you look for it to be fairly even, you know, so that your eyes are not like all over the place. And there you go. In essence, that's the horse. So all that's left really is the mane. Oh, the ears. The ears is the other tricky part. So the ears is where the two pieces of foam and the ears and the mane is where the two pieces of foam come in. So I would take one of the pieces of the foam, probably, fold it in half, cut it, hot dog style, fold it in half, hot dog style, cut it, and now, right through that hole right there, there's your ears. There's your ears. Now, you're gonna wanna cut it again. I'm just gonna slide this out to make pointy ears. So I would like fold it in half and do it on a diagonal, like so. And do it on the other side as well. I hope this comes out right. I have a full model over here. <laughs> So yes, so on a diagonal on this side. This is all very unscientific. I don't measure much. It is not my forte. Okay, so, and there's your ears, essentially, right? So the pieces of double-sided tape that we, that we put in the packet for you guys is precisely because even though the instructions that I was following originally said, oh, just glue it to the side. I found, and I'm a very impatient person and so are most children, I found that it just took too much darn time to just hold it with your hands. Plus I guess that the, I think that's where probably, so just take little beats of pieces of this double tape, sided tape we sent you guys. I found that um, maybe felt would have worked better for this and the whole glue situation than foam. But there we go. That's sticking really good. And then you cut another piece. Of tape. For the other side. So I believe I gave everybody about, or a little over six inches. That I think was like maybe one inch on each side. And there's your ears. You could use another extra bit of piece of the double-sided mounting tape to press your ears in if you want it to. That's what I'm gonna do because I like it like that. But one of the most awesome things about art is that everybody gets to do their own thing. So you might decide, you know what? We're going to try the felt thing and that might work for you. And that'll be awesome if that works for you. So I'm gonna use another little bit of double-sided tape. Yes, I like it more like that. So it's all about personal taste. You like big flopping ears? You go have yourself some big flopping ears. Okay, and then some more of the mounting tape. And there we go. Now you have yours. By the way, purple's my favorite color. So, 
Miss Jaira actually went on purpose and bought a purple fur noodle herself out of her funds because she loves purple so much and she saw it and she couldn't help it. Okay, so the mane is in essence going to be the other half of that foam. Um, and then you're just going to cut. Again, it's totally random. No science to it. I like those little curves right over here. I'm gonna make it even narrower. Like so, so that's what I did. And then I'm gonna make cuts for the main to like free flow and probably, I'm also looking at my finished model behind me. That's why you see me looking back. And I'll probably show him off because this part, I am going to use the glue. And like I said, you have to be a little patient waiting for the foam to actually stick good and well to the foam noodle. No idea how long this is taking me. Okay, so you can do more cuts, you can do less cuts, anything you like. And then that's gonna go just like that, just like so. So, and here's my white glue, just regular white glue. If you happen to have more double-sided tape, then that will probably be a lot faster than um, glue, white glue, but white glue will work. I don't think glue sticks will work. If any of you try with glue sticks and it works, feel free to let me know. So I very liberally applied white glue right there. And then I'm gonna stick it right there. It's gonna slip and slide a little bit and I'm probably not gonna touch it much more for that. Okay, so most of you should have gotten two different color foams so that you could play around. Some of you, and I do apologize, may not have gotten two pieces of foam, of different color foam because supplies. So I was fortunate and I found a yellow one last minute. And so I'm going to do an overlay on the main so it's more funky. Plus yellow and purple looks great together. Okay, so again, I'm just cutting. This one has to be somewhat narrower than the one on the, on the bottom. So again, in the curve, it's, there's absolutely no measurement to this. None <laughs> whatsoever. This is what I ended up with. I do not know how much it measured. I'm sorry. I'm probably the reason why I'm not a seamstress at all. Oh, lights out. Okay, lights back on. <laughs> so I'm in our, um, one of our rooms and it's, the lights are motion censored. And if it doesn't feel anybody moving, which apparently I'm not moving enough for it, it just turns off after a while. Which means that we're energy efficient, which is awesome, but it also makes recording these things somewhat of a challenge. Again, there was no measuring like how far in did I go. I do not know. I might like think that I need to go further in, but I'm really not. And then I just place this one. I'm just going to place this one right on top of that one. And hopefully everything will glue. Um, again, like I said in the story video, story time video, Miss Eileen is going to be doing a Sleeping Beauty um, story singing um, next week. And this purple seed might be making a special appearance in it. So I hope that you all or some of you decide to take some time out of your very busy schedules to um, do that. 
um, take um, go on to Facebook and look at that event. Okay, so I said I probably have to hold it right here so the glue holds, but that's my purple steed. I feel like the eye should either go further up or down. I don't know. Okay, so this is my purple seed. I love her. Now I'm going to show you my original one that I did when I was trying out this craft. This is my orange seed. Uh oh, purple seed fell. And illustrated perfectly. The problem with the with the glue with the glue it fell right off so like i said tape is actually the better option um probably if i lie it down it will be fine no i'm gonna put it like pop it up right against here that will probably be okay okay so this is my orange one that I did a few weeks ago. Um, and I was testing different size of twines. That's why it has two. And I like the thicker one better. I think it looks better, but it's okay. So either the orange one or the purple one will probably be showing up next week um, with Miss Eileen. So now moving on to the shield. As I said, in the kits, you should have gotten, or this pan, plus I cut out and felt the letters for the initial of your name. Um, you can go to Martha Story's website and, lo and look this craft up. It's a superhero with the cake pan um, craft. It's called, if you look it up, It'll be a Mighty Kids Craft DIY Superhero Shields. Um, so knights are superheroes as well. So anywho, um, and I decided that that was an awesome idea for my knight training because knights have to defend themselves and their fair maidens or fair guys because girls can be knights too. Ha. So my initial is Y for Yahira. And you should have the circle pan and two letters, two felt letters. Now you'll need some glitter glue because the instructions on um, the site are to glue these onto the middle of your pan, but then also like trace the size of the, the letter so choose one of the letters. They're both the same size. On Martha Stewart's website, it probably says to cut them different size, but I'm not that good. So I have glitter glue. Um, it just makes it easier for me in my opinion. And it's pink. You can get glitter glue in all sorts of colors, or you can get glitter and make a mess in your kitchen. <laughs> So literally, you're gonna take the letter and put it posted in the middle. Not gonna glue it initially because you're going to trace it with the glue. Once the glue decides to come out, that is. So, I should probably do this on the table. Anywho, I'm a rebel. So I'm literally freehanding or doing this while holding one piece of paper on my hand. Okay, so there's my Y. And then on your beautiful round pans, <laughs> You'll take some glue or the either some glue um, first and then spread glitter over it or glitter glue, which is a little bit less messy. And do the whole border of your cake pan. Does 
like that. Except you have a fun round shape and I have a boring rectangle. <laughs> um, yeah, just like that. And then, oh, oopsies. You probably want to wait for this to dry before you put some glue on your actual letter and put it on. But I'm a rebel and I have a certain amount of time to do this in. So I'm putting glue directly on the felt. And then I'm gonna glue this to my craft paper. Like so. See, this craft is gonna be a lot more messy than the first craft. Then, the reason why you got two letters is because then you can on the craft, it probably had a bigger letter and a small letter, so you could just easily put one letter on top of the other one. Me, I'm gonna layer the letters. So the first letter's on there. So now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna put some glue on my second letter, my second Y. And then I'm going to layer it, not directly on top, I would say slightly to the right or the left. You do you. And your finished product should look something like that. Now, we know every shield needs a handle because how are you gonna be just going around holding your shield like this? <laughs> Fighting, that doesn't make any sense, Mr. Jahira. How can I do that? So, after your shield is dry, because mine is not, I'm going to be using a random piece of paper. You're going to make a handle um, for the back. Preferably with duct tape. That's the other thing that you need that we did not provide, duct tape. So you would take two pieces of duct tape, start with two pieces of duct tape that are relatively the same size. And you're gonna actually tape these first two pieces of tape to themselves, to each other, <laughs> but, <laughs> to each other, but with the non-sticky part out. probably flatter, all of you would probably do a lot better than me. And then on the back of your shield, you're going to take another piece of duct tape, and these I did pre-cut, and you are going to put it, you're gonna take the first two pieces of tape to the phone. Everybody's gonna have lots of fun with me today. Okay, so you're gonna take one edge of your tip of taper, like so. So one long on this side, and then you bend the middle like so, and you take your other piece of tape, and now you have C handle. So, based on this experiment, um, I would say you would need a relatively longer size of tape because if they want to put their whole hand in, but this fits at least three fingers long, um, wide. So if they want to put their whole hand in, four fingers would be a little bit more difficult. Although, I have bigger hands because I'm an adult. 
Okay. So that would be holding the not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Thank you all. I hope you have fun. I hope I get to see some results. Um, um, share them with us on Facebook or in person when you come to pick up some books. Don't forget to call and make appointments to come in, um, visit us so you can pick out your own books or go online or call us and put some books on hold that you can come and pick up um, curbside. Thank you. Have a nice day.